So here we're going to lay the groundwork for what is going to be a very scientific discuss discussion. There are very, this is very scientific, it's going to be nerdy as opposed to political. There are stages of development, so, and almost every civilization started out at the similar stage. The stages of development, while not exact, can be roughly and vulgarly summarized as primitive hunter-gatherer, primitive communism. Then you have uh, basically these kingdoms that have organized division of labor, where you have a company and social problems. So a lot of the social problems you'll see Jesus and Buddha discuss happens to stem from a very particular stage of development where you have division of labor because where you have primitive communism, primitive hunter-gatherer, hunting, gathering, there is no division of labor. There's no, there is no such thing as the problem where you have to address whether the meek will inherit the earth. Jesus and Buddha deals with things particular to, they came at a very advanced time. Uh, but the more advanced you are, the more inequality you have. So primitive communism, you don't have, you don't have Jesus or Buddha because you don't have the problems for them to even address. Then you have these kingships, kingdoms, uh, based on basically these feudal kingdoms. Then you have mercantilism. Then you have early uh, industrial, early industrial capitalism, second stage capitalism, third stage capitalism, until you get to socialism and high level communism in one country where whichever country realizes communism, they're going to be them. They're going to have a strategic advantage over all their enemies and adversaries. So I, I'm a communist, but but I, but I'm a I'm a nation first communist. But the point, the key thing to be scientific is that every civilization started out at the same primitive stage. So the problem is people can twist that. They can say they twist this idea because every civilization can be at a different stage of development. Uh, but people where people go on scientific, they, they become, they develop racialist social Darwinian theories. So if you look at a uh, modern industrial Germany, at, they were hunter gatherers at one point, whereas the Romans were far more advanced. They encountered, they encountered Anglo-Saxons hunt, basically bands of Anglo-Saxon hunter ga in a, in the stage of hunter gatherer. So we want to make sure that no one confuses it for, you know, racialist ideas of one race being, you know, advanced or something. That's not true. Everybody starts out at the same stage and depending on the accidents of history, where what stage you are has nothing to do with what eth ethnicity or what race you are. So this is the, the development is uneven. It's becoming more even, but we have to understand the realization of ultimate power-based high-level communism in, in a scientific manner so that basically whoever reaches communism first is going to be the king of the world, the ruler of the, the ruler of the world.